Hey, traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Today in the SPY, not a lot happening. Personally, I did not day trade today, and by the looks of this candle, I am super happy about that. Uh, looks like it was a very choppy day. If we take a look at the five minute on the SPY, we just basically chopped around sideways the whole day. Um, could have played the, the lows and the highs, but ending the day with one penny away from a perfect doji leaves me very excited about trading tonight. Um, we did finish up uh, with an inside day candle and either way, we could probably break down um, or we could break higher. So personally, I'm just going to wait to see what occurs, what gap happens. If we do gap above this high tonight, I do think we are going to go higher. And by the looks of the E-minis, the ES, we are very, very bullish today. So guys, stay long on the markets. S&P definitely looking to go higher. We are creating new all-time highs each day. So stay long in the markets. Here's AMAT, ticker symbol AMAT. And if you take a look at the weekly chart and the long-term moving averages, we are running right into the 100 simple moving average. So personally, I think that AMAT is going to have a little bit of resistance, maybe consolidate here for a little while longer. Um, and on the daily, we are bouncing nicely off this 100 simple moving average. So on AMAT, guys, if you are in here, probably look to sell some premium, sell some covered calls above $48 if there is any premium up there. Um, but all in all, we are still trending up very nice and very slowly. So AMAT, look to go higher. Here's iRobot. Now, this on the long term, if you take a look at the weekly, we are back at the 100 simple moving average and we have bounced off here before. So if you are looking long term to buy on iRobot, we are at a very nice buying location. So if you take a look at the daily chart, we have been consolidating sideways for the last two months and more importantly, what I'm looking at is actually this bullish candle right here and that high wave doji looking candle, um, you know, from back on the 21st of June. So we did get some really nice increasing volume and I do think that there will be a lot of people that have their stops below here. And I see that we do have earnings right around the corner. Um, so just bear in mind if you are looking to go long uh, that earnings is right around the corner, but a gap down would probably be a fadeable gap. Um, but depending on where we do gap up to, if we do gap higher, it would be a very nice trade to either take long. Um, but iRobot, definitely a buy low, sell high location. So if you are looking for a great long-term opportunity, um, IRBT does look great. A lot of people waking up doing the square dance this morning. Um, SQ posting another high. Um, I did I did mention back here that if we do break this 74 level, we will very quickly get to $80. Um, if we just have a look at the high of today, which was 79.96, we almost got there. Um, we probably most likely will reach $80 tonight and then uh, most likely just chop here a little bit sideways. We have got decreasing volume here. Um, so there will be a little bit of a slowdown, uh, but SQ does look to stay bullish. On the short-term moving averages, we will have the uh, the 10, EM, the 10, the 20, and the 50 come up a little bit higher. Um, we probably do need a little bit of a pullback on Square. Uh, but from here, guys, I would still stay long on SQ. I know this is a resistance level, um, but most I'm very bullish on this company. So SQ, well done to everyone who is in and just keep on holding. Here's Twitter. Now, 
Twitter is quite interesting at the moment. Um, if we just take a look at the fibs here, off this bounce, next target is 38, 32. So this is actually a one, two, three, four, five. We are in the wave four. So I do expect a one last push on Twitter. Um, so if you are looking to take profits on Twitter, 38, 32, which is not that much higher, probably just over a dollar. Um, that is a very good target. We have got earnings right around the corner. And in the past, we have been quite volatile um, on Twitter. So if you are looking at, if you are in Twitter, look to take profits just before earnings. Um, but for all those of you who are in, well done. Here's Foot Locker. Now, Foot Locker is quite interesting. Uh, we are at a support level. However, we do look quite weak. We are creating some lower highs here. And uh, this support is only just holding up at 40.81. Um, so earnings still a couple of months away. Uh, if we do get a, a trade down, we really need to stay above above here at 39.16. Uh, but personally, I think we probably will come down to fill this gap eventually and then look to go higher. If you take a look at the long-term moving averages on the weekly, we are still below the 100 and the 200. And on the monthly chart, um, yeah, most likely I think we will come back down to the 200 on the weekly. So, uh, actually, quickly back on the daily, this was a retest gap, um, this black candle gapping down over the last earnings period. So this realistically is a nice retest and most likely will trade lower. Here's the All Lords, the Aussie markets, and we're getting close. We are getting very, very close. I'm hoping next week we, we create some new all-time highs. Um, we will wait and see, but stay bullish on the markets. Cute little bearish inside day today, but um, nothing really to, to report about the all odds. Just be long and be strong. Here's JB Hi-Fi. Well done to those of you who did get in bullish back here on the last analysis. Um, we are coming into a nice resistance level. If you take a look at the weekly, we are at this resistance level right here. And if you take a look at the daily, we did have a nice gap down today and then obviously a, a quick fade and then back higher. So, I mean, if you are looking to lock in profits, this is a very good place to lock in profits. We can obviously go higher. Uh, however, uh, we are at a, a resistance level. So just expect a little bit of a slowdown on JB Hi-Fi. But well done to all of you who took that trade. Here's Blue Scope Steel, ticker symbol BSL. And Blue Scope Steel looking pretty good. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are actually back at the 200 simple moving average on the on the weekly. And we are forming this gorgeous double bottom and most likely we will probably trade higher. We are at a nice little support here. So this is a buy low, sell high location. So if you are looking to go long, if you are thinking long term on Blue Scope Steel, this is a great opportunity to buy. On the daily, just bear in mind that we do have the 100 and 200 simple moving average here. Um, but if you're thinking long term, long term, this definitely is a great time to go long. Here's Colin Foods Groups, um, ticker symbol CFK. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they own you know all the Sizzlers, the KFCs here. Um, so if you like KFC, uh, probably invest in this company, except don't do it right now because we are currently forming a nice double top pattern. So if you are in long on Colin Foods Limited, uh, we are at a nice little resistance level and we are topping out here. So I think you'll most like this does, this does um, happen quite a lot. As you can see back here, as we had this last bullish push in 2017, nice little double, double top. We came back down to the 100 and traded sideways for a little while. And then back here in December, 
2018, nice little double top, consolidate back down to the 100. So will we do that again? We have got the double top. Personally, I think we most likely will and just kind of consolidate before we go higher. We did get earnings, just we have already had earnings. So from here, um, yeah, probably look to take your profits and look to buy the dip. Here's Qantas. Now, I did mention Qantas in my review back on the 25th and that was on this day right here and I was saying that most likely if you want a quick little a quick little trade back into the moving averages up here, this was a very nice time to buy. Um, so if you did take that trade, great time to lock in some profits as this is a really nice resistance level. So well done to all of you who took Qantas as a trade. Here's APT. I uh, mentioned uh, just a couple of days ago in my last review that we will probably sell back off back into the 100 simple moving average and glorious little drop 4% today. Um, APT, nice little pullback and just look to buy the dip um, off the 100. So if you're looking for an opportunity to go long, APT, it's coming right up. Here's CBA. And CBA looking really, really nice. We did say that this was a nice level to consolidate at around $83 and between $83 and $81. So if you are looking to sell some premium, this is a nice place to do so as we will probably just consolidate sideways and allow these moving averages to, uh, to come into play. So CBA looking really, really nice. Here's the Aussie dollar and we, I did get out of my trade um, just a couple of days ago with a really nice 2.3 R gain. If you did take this short with me, well done if you did get out here. Um, so personally, yeah, I got out at 69.35, uh, was a really nice 2 R gain and we did have a cute little bounce. So we are coming back into these moving averages. So we may get another chance at this one, guys. So if, if you are looking for a short opportunity, keep your eyes peeled. Um, I, will, I won't be getting, getting in straight off the 100. Obviously, I do need some sort of reversal pattern to occur. But AUD, USD, keep your eyes peeled for a short opportunity over the next week. Here's GBP AUD. Now I did say that most likely we will probably get a short opportunity. I actually missed that particular candle right here, this, this bearish inverted hammer. Um, from here, I need a little bit more of uh, quote unquote confirmation um, uh, because we, uh, we haven't still broke this trend line. Personally, I would like this to close below and then retest and then I can look to take it lower. Um, on the weekly chart, we still, we, we do look a little bit bearish. We have got this inverted hammer and we are resisting the 200. So um, GBP, AUD, if you did spot this, this high wave inverted hammer candle and you took that short, um, probably continue to hold it does look strong and I did say that most likely this will be a short little bounce before we go lower. So GBP, AUD uh, looking very, very nice. Here's US oil. I did also get out of this trade for a 1.69R gain yesterday or the day before. So that was a really nice trade um, on US oil. From here, I'm just going to continue to stay fairly neutral, uh, bullish to neutral. We are above the 100 and the 200 on the daily um, and on the weekly chart, we are at the 100 simple moving average. So uh, from here, guys, we're probably just going to consolidate a little, little bit, just only a little bit, um, probably for a few days. And then we will probably look to go higher or maybe get a quick roll back down. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see, what it, we'll see what occurs next week. Here's gold. Um, and we are actually looking quite nice. So I did say a couple of days ago on my last review that I am looking for a, a, a little bit more of a nice S curve. If we take a look on the daily chart, we are kind of just forming a nice little flag here, really. Um, 
we have got some nice little higher lows and some high highs. So from here, from here, depending on how the Aussie, the depending on how the dollar performs, um, I do think we will most likely get another bullish push on gold. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for another bullish for another bullish push. Um, but all in all, stay long on gold. Here's the here's the dollar index, and you'll see why I think that gold is going higher. We do have these lower highs, and we are at this resistance level right here, and we've been here for a while. Um, so most likely, I do expect if we start to close below these. Uh, moving averages. Oh, I don't know where we're going to go. Probably. Yeah. I mean, we could come back down to 94. Um, but dollar index looking a little bit weak. And obviously that is going to push gold higher. That's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another real life stock review. So until then, have a great weekend and I will speak to you then. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. Bye.